Hello, it's Helen from Journal with Purpose and today I'm sharing a mini plan with me video showing how I set up my pages in my bullet journal for the new week. I'm starting with a Tombow calligraphy pen with a firm nib to write in the month of May. And I'm now using some of my new washi tape from London Gifties to highlight that heading. Next up, I'm using a Staedtler pigment liner with a 0.05 nib to draw in two boxes at the top of my page. You might have noticed that I've been changing my weekly layouts quite a lot and that's partly because I'm trying to find something that works really well for me and also I like changing them anyway just to make sure that I don't get bored of creating them each week. I'm now using the Tombow calligraphy pen again and one of the boxes will be for my priorities for the week and the other one will be for a mini weekly tracker. I'm now writing the days of the week across the top and I will write the things that I want to track down the left hand side. And the things I'm tracking at the moment is to make sure that I have enough water, no alcohol evenings, a good sleep, having good levels of energy and spending some time doing creative projects. I'm now using a Tombow ABT brush pen in N60 to highlight the boxes. The next thing I'm doing is using some really low tack skinny washi tape and I will use this to create a border and I can then use the brush pen in between and I'll create lines so that I've got different sections of the page for each day of the week. I really like using the washi tape in this way because it's a really quick way just to set those lines out but to try and keep them neat as well. And in case you want to create this layout yourself, the boxes on the left hand page are 12 dots by 12 dots and when I'm counting the dots down from the bottom of each blue border, I'm counting down 8 dots. I find it really helpful having a mini tracker on my weekly pages. While some of these activities are already recorded on my monthly tracker, these are the pages that I have open on my desk all day. So they act as a really good reminder to me because otherwise I find at the end of the evening when I go to fill my monthly tracker in, I find that I'd forgotten some of my priorities and things that I wanted to track for that week. Before I start creating my weekly pages, I usually try and pick some kind of colour theme. So I'll look through my pens, washies and stickers and try and find a few different things all using a similar colour. Because I don't need as much space for tasks at the weekend, I will divide that final box in two using the other end of the brush pen. I'm now using the Tombow calligraphy pen again to write in the day and date in each box.
I've left the priorities box on the left hand page empty at the moment because I set these pages up slightly ahead of time and at the end of Sunday when I've looked through everything I've managed to get done and what's still outstanding on my master task list I will go ahead and then fill those priorities in for the new week. Once I've finished writing in the dates, I will grab some stickers from London Gifties and add those to my page just for some decoration and to break the layout up a bit. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, it'd be great if you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you consider subscribing. And if you've got any questions or comments, then please do leave them down below. Thank you ever so much for watching.